So, let's head out. Um, I think this south guy I'm going to check. I'm going to bring some money over to see what he's got, because I don't quite remember. See about getting another quest also. We're going to have to move my storage like underground or something, man. I do not want to. If you lose the chest, I think you lose everything in it. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. Not the best. Um... We're keeping some of the stuff. Like, I'll try not to sell it until we get the perks to allow me to sell. Which, speaking of perks, we do have two points available. So we can go for the Intelligence Turret Syndrome. Thirty-five percent chance to dismember with stun turrets and junk turrets, or stumpatons and junk turrets. Uh, turret Syndrome. We can get... Quality 2 turrets. We can reload more, they fire faster. Active range has increased a bit. Multiple turrets, but only the closest will be active. I thought I was able to unlock sh shotgun turrets. Where was I seeing that at? Oh, that's this guy. Craft shotgun turrets with inventor. I need eight intellect. Oh, okay. Well then. Well, let's let's get let's get that then. I suppose. Bang. So we have eight. We're an intellectual now. Hmm, yes. Fuck me. So I need a bit of acid for making wheels, or just straight up getting wheels. And then I can make a new bicycle, because my other bicycle is... It's pretty far. It's a pretty long run. That's... Wait. It's not actually that far. Maybe I run and... I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe I run and just pick up the bicycle. Depends what he's got. If he doesn't have acid or wheels to make a new one, then... Oh, then fuck it. We'll just... We'll just run down there and pick up my old bike and then bring it up. See if I can do that other quest out to the west somewhere then because i got my shotgun still i'm keeping this thing i repaired it i repaired a bunch of stuff keeping it because it's getting to the point now where the knife while good my stamina regeneration and all that isn't good enough to keep up with what, what i with what i'm fighting i feel like by now if i was going knife i should have had max agility by now and a bit of flurry of Take blows and all that here for to the west a bit. All right, we can do that. And it's just clearing zombies, no fetching going on. Although there is a tier four fetch. Also to the west. I'll do that. Tier four fetch. I will do it. He resets on the 25th. There's a mining helmet, which would be cool. Um, what do I have hat wise? Yeah, you restock often. That's right. Oh yeah, football helmet, right. Football helmet. This also counts for lighter. You know what, I'm buying a mining helmet. Fuck it, then that way I got like a flashlight all the time always. Oh, it, it comes with the helmet light mod. And it's just a mining helmet. It still counts for light armor. So it's fine. It's actually a little bit better for stun resistance. I would want... Storage pocket mod, plus one carry capacity. I can make this, though. I need to remember that I can make that. A generator bank. Used to generate power for electrical components. See journal tip for more info. I have zero idea how any of that stuff works. The junk turrets, we will we'll ignore that, because I can scrap what I've got. Hmm. Lucky goggles we've already got. There's a couple more mining hats that he's got. Wasteland Treasures Volume 5 Doorknobs. You know that many doorknobs are parts like hinges are made of brass. Bullet casings are made from brass. Learn how to harvest brass from doors and never run out of bullets again. But I know about... Uh, we've looted doorknobs before. Right, I'll read it. <laughs> Fine. If I have to. And... Eh, not really... Okay. 
It looks like we're going to be running down south to grab my... grab my bike. Ranger's Guide to Archery. Craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. <gasps> Explosive crossbow bolts. A motorcycle chassis schematic. I can maybe just like learn how to do that soon. Lucky Looter Volume 1. Just find more dukes and loot. Sure. Alright, so a few a few books. To learn how to make the motorcycle thing. That's intelligence, grease monkey. Yeah, that's just uh that's just one more point, and I can just grab that, so that, that's fine. We'll use Lucky Looter, Ranger's Guide, Wasteland Treasures. We will Uh Okay, yeah, that's my seal. I was really confused for a minute. We will wear you. Modify you. Take both of these off. Put them on the mining helmet, or at least one of them, at least. The armor plating. Yeah, that, that gave it the plus two armor that I was missing out on before. And the muffled connectors. They don't really do any. That's more for heavy armor, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, there we go. Complete. So now it is... it's basically just a football helmet. But with a little more stun resistance. And it comes with a flashlight, which is so good. Unbelievably good, actually. So we will... modify you, put on the muffled connectors just to hold it, and we'll be off. To the west was your quest. Yeah, that's both of them right there, I'm pretty sure. Let's head south, grab my bike. Did I have anything going in these? I think I cleaned these out, right? There's a bit of stone left in there. A bit of stone. And in the mixer... Yeah, nothing. Okay. Wasn't sure. These running shoes are so good. I don't really have many points in the stamina regen while sprinting, but with these, like, we're just dropping a point in stamina, maybe, like, per half second or so. Like, it kind of varies a little bit. It's a bit wild and random. But it's so good, though. And with the, my, uh, my collar of this jacket thing running a bit faster, oh man, this is nice. I don't know what my running speed is, because my bike was able to go, like, 10 meters per. Not sure. There's not a fantastic way of looking at that until I get a lot closer to a rally point. I can just like monitor the, the quest distance updating. I'd be quite interested to see how much movement speed increase you would need to be able to run faster than the bicycle. Because the bicycle while nice, I don't get the stamina regen while sprint cycling. Or maybe I do, because it's technically sprinting? I wouldn't think that counts, though. That shouldn't count. If the stamina regen for my running shoes counts when sprinting while doing the sprint cycling, I would say that's a bug. Yeah, I'll kill this guy. Why not? Come here, you. Knife, still good for basic zombies. Out. Oh. But when it comes down to finding, like, really proper stuff, I need more stamina regen. Um, less stamina cost during power attacks. Generally faster swings. And probably also a little bit stun resistance, too. Hello, bike. Man, fucking Home Depot. You know what? I, I want to clear it out, though. I feel like I was near the end of it. Was it up this ladder and out one of these windows? Yeah, it was up on this level. This this can't be the correct way. Where is this? 
Oh, that's there. How did I not even notice this? Wow. I'm blind as shit. Okay. So yeah, you come up through there in the box room. Follow the pipe around the corner. Come up here. You'll probably want to put something down here so you can more easily reach the exit because it traps you in here otherwise. I'll go ahead and do so now. Whoa. That was weird. Ah, you can't because of- wait, no, you, you totally can. Wait, can, can you? Hello? I don't think you can actually because of the railing. Icky. Alright, so the next best thing is just chop away at this so I can just jump back up and I can make some form of escape. Ah, right, yeah, ladder down. Okay. Cool. And shotgun back out. And hammer away, I think. Yeah, hi, you bitches. Get out of here. Sneak attack in the back with a shotgun. And screw you. God damn it. 4,500 experience, though? Is that all from him? See, with a shotgun, it's a lot easier. I didn't want to use a shotgun for everything, though. That's not what I'm about. But when the game does garbage like that, where it's like, oh, ho, 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 there's like a thousand zombies up here, and they, you're not going to see they're there until you get a little bit closer, and then they wake up from behind all these containers and everything. And it does that kind of garbage. Ah, I'll eat this to keep my food, like, super high. Ammo pile, shotgun shells, a hunting rifle that I'll just scrap, and some rifle ammo. Working stiff and just some sealed crate. Secret hidden, or search hidden stash untouch. Leather leg armor, that's not great. Working stiff. An iron door and three lockpicks. Alright, the leather leg armor we're just going to scrap. The iron door, I'd like to melt down. Is that it? That ain't very fucking great. Ooh. It also be noted. That's not a bad ladder to get up around the back. Alright, so now we know for next time. That's what that's all about. I head back around over to my bike. And we'll go toward the other quests then. Hello, bike. It's good to have you back. It's been a while. I'm sorry. So which one's closer, technically? Can I clear this? No, it's just there forever, I think. Oh god, how embarrassing. This one's technically closer. I don't think that worked at all. I can't even remove it. Ah, okay. So that's just there forever. A permanent stain in the ass of my pants for my failed attempt because I fell off the ladder into their little doom ship pit. God. Oh. No oh, cabinet store. All right. Check that mailbox quick. Actually, mailboxes can be really good. Ooh. The plane. What's this? Cable guys never made it? Yeah, sure. Utility worker killing. Give me that thing. Oh, man, I see the parachute. We're really close to it, actually. We can probably make it there as it lands. Awesome. I kind of forgot about this completely. Like an additional reward for making it past that uh, the seventh night, because I think this is set to drop once every seven days or so. Are you landing in the water? Yo, you better not be landing in the water. 
Yeah, no, it's not. It's landing, like, up on top of that mountain or on the back side of it. Excuse me, grass. <sighs> the fuck was that all about? You know, I'm thinking my stamina uh, for my shoes while sprinting. I think it is counting for the bicycle, actually. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, okay, that's a little too steep. That's like a 150 degree incline. <laughs> We're upside down. Ugh, we can make it. Yeah, it's it's up the mountain here. This looks like an okay little path. If you time your jumps right, your little hops with the bicycle, though, you can make it up some pretty impressive inclines. But yeah, I'm pretty sure my my shoes are counting with my sprint cycling, which is really disgusting. They they ought to not. It doesn't make sense for them to. Okay, you know what? I'll just grab the bike. That's fine. With my luck, it'll like fall and shatter into a hundred pieces down below. Lazy! <laughs> did he die? Oh, okay, he did. I thought he was still, uh, still alive. I was curious when he was going to try to get up. Nice. Shotgun shells, 9mm ammo, a hunting knife, antibiotics, four first aid kits, leather boots to scrap, and some food to eat. Nope. Denied. Antibiotics, I guess I hang on to. Sure, the hunting knife, I really don't care. I think we scrapped that with the cans, and I'll probably just scrap the iron door too. Like, honestly, if I need iron, I can just do a bit of mining. There's so much mining around. So, let's continue. I think that's the Cable Guys challenge, right? We need to go... I'm, I, we can try just beelining it, I suppose. Don't try this at home, okay? <laughs> awesome. We'll kind of go around this uh, this mountain. I had one of the random quests, Dishonorable Discharge, taking out military dudes. So we'll pull out the shotgun and I suppose do it while we're here. It gets turned into the... Um, the traitors anyway, so... Only problem is I don't have armor piercing stuff, so some of this is gonna just, like, deflect off their armor. That's what it is. Maybe we can get a couple stabs in, because they'll, they, uh, they'll bleed a bit, and it's not like the armor can prevent the bleeding. So as long as I can get a stab in... Ooh. Well, see, now that's just working out okay. That RNG's a bit strange. Yeah, no problem. Took them out. Easy peasy. That wasn't very many at all. That was it. Nice. Alright, put the bike back down. Let there be a little more fighting to do. And continue on. We are about halfway there. Roughly. Not the best train for it. Especially with all the water. There is a big lake back there that I had to just, like, pick up the bike and swim through, because... I feel like bicycling underwater doesn't work. But I don't know. That's also why Holder is so goddamn wet right now. 45% wet, because I was just swimming across the lake. Ugh. Where's this lead me? That'll work. We'll head this way onto the uh, the road and then just take the road west. Ah, uh, nice smooth terrain. Mmm. Grabbing a bit of yucca while I'm here since it's a nice desert area. It seems like we're kind of here. Like, this is this is it. The activation point, though, is on the... Uh, around the other side, actually. Ugh. 
But I figured like while I'm here, I may as well grab some of the yucca because we are growing a bit of it, but not a whole lot. So I figure like we're here. The waterworks building. Do I remember the waterworks building at all? Actually, leave the bike here. That's fine. We will search the cars once, but I will not search it again after we uh, activate this point because I don't want to cheese it very much. Or at all, really. A couple lockpicks, sure. Let's do it. So it is down below. All right. Let's go into the front. <laughs> the wanting against the ground, that's what pissed him off. They're breaking everything. You guys jumping out the windows or kinda, sorta? Actually, yeah, pickaxe the whole way. A slap fight up there now. Whoa. I was not expecting to come by so quickly. Sorry about the pickaxe on the side of the face. I panicked a little bit. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I'm just going to shotgun my way through for a bit. <laughs> I'll loot the lockers, though. I said it before, you find some weird stuff in these sometimes. Yeah, I looted that one. Okay. She wasn't even feral. I don't think any of the people down here were, oh, were feral. I'm after is still lower. Like, way deep in the gutty works, huh? Man, they're just like playing fucking healthy sometimes. Those utility workers. There we are. Got a point to spend. Was I ready to spend that somewhere? Or we were saving- we just picked up the intellect and I needed... No, yeah, we're okay. Craft shotgun turrets. Even though I don't have turret syndrome. Shotgun auto turret. Yeah, we can build that. Shotgun auto turret. Three shotgun parts, a motion sensor, oil polymers, and forged steel. 46 forged steel. Oh my god, motion sensing shotgun turret. What more needs to be said? Fuck. And we can make shotgun armor piercing slugs. Ooh. Also, breaching slugs. You gotta co complete the shotgun messiah book series. A breaching slug? Against door hinges or locks for quick entry. Not useful in a fight due to extremely short range. Alright. Interesting. I hear a physics glitch every time I'm over there. Bouncing around over here. Yeah, damn it. You know what be, might be nice is the um, that laser sight that I made on the crossbow. That'd be good. There's still a modifier slot. Did I just queue something up to be made? No. Okay. Still lower than this. That that only startled me a fuckload. A little bit wet. <laughs> Boom. That sounded nice. <laughs> Here 
right. I mean, I'll swim by. It's the way it's leading me. I kind of thought there'd be dudes like dropping in and stuff. <sighs> Big jumps. Somewhere on this level. Still alive. Whoa. Where'd you come from? What? <laughs> oh, are you just chasing me around the whole time? Don't know about that. And there it is. So now we have to clear it out, which that's going to be a minute because this is a pretty big place on the plus side, though. Most stuff is like active and aggro and like super pissed off at me, so I can kind of just follow the sounds to a degree. I just don't know where the hell they come from a lot of the time. <laughs> it's a slap fight over there. Man, I'm glad I brought the shotgun. And taking off the armor like every fucking time now. It still does damage, apparently. I killed him by hitting him in the armor. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're really going at it over there. Mm. Right, well, let's a large ammo pile. Look at this thing. Rifle, shotgun, pistol, ammo, M60 machine gun that will scrap for machine gun parts. Sealed shipping crate. For popping pills, lab equipment. The rod and spring mod schematic. Sure, a bit of coal and paper. Eh. Working stiff crate. Uh... I don't care. Hardened chest, that one's locked. Passing gas. <gasps> An auger and a motorcycle chassis. Mm -hmm. And a large food pile. Some yucca juice that I'll drink. And some other stuff that I'll just go ahead and eat now. Since like, cause the, the food and everything can get so high, like may as well. They don't have to worry about it for a while. And this locked hardened chest, we'll pick it. And try to at least. Yeah, we're getting through like half a second before the pick breaks. <sighs> Fuck off with this lock picking mechanic. It is garbage. This is so garbage. Yeah, I don't have skills for it. Fuck out of here. Five picks left. Five. I was gonna make fun of them for still being at it, but then they stopped. 
Never mind, they're back at it again. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Iron arrows don't care. Motor tool, small tank mod. Leather gloves. A hunting rifle. A rank 5 junk turret. Iron crossbow bolts. Muffled connectors. Eh. Silver nugget, gold nugget. A compound crossbow. It, it's weaker. Compound crossbow. Just just to ensure that we're being fair here. Yeah, and uh, the, the rank 5 iron crossbow is better than a compound crossbow. Alright, so scrap that. Okay. You can have those back on. Wait. That ripped down into bow crossbow parts, which is fine. The fucking auger is a quite cool find. I'm happy with that. The muffled connectors I really don't care about. I guess I'll take them for now, though. We can get rid of them later on. Yeah, empty car parts box. Nice! So, these places have much cooler loot also. And when that breaks out and throws you down here. That's it, that's all. Okay, it's just kind of a, kind of a senseless trap just to make you panic a little bit. And no doubt also aggro everything too, if you uh, snuck around somehow. All right. So who's slapping here? Wherever they are, they're not doing much damage. I think they're just up above me. Hey! Where were you sleeping at? Probably right around the corner. God damn it. Fell right for that. Cow's jacket again. Nice. Abandoned rubbish or whatnot. Duct tape and a bullet casing. Uh. Let me really quickly head back. Because there's a door behind the funnel room. That might be like a faster way up or something, you know? Sometimes it does that. Yeah. And then we can like come back down through this place the proper way. Yeah, figured it'd be like that again. Sorry, cactus. Oh, well that's not entirely hidden. So that's quite easy to find for later on. Just to the left of the front door, basically, around the corner. Oh, I cannot wait to finish off that guy just slapping the shit out of whatever that is. It's just some dude going bonkers on like a concrete flooring or so. They can't do enough damage to actually break it. But they keep trying. This is precarious as hell. Anything up here? A little bit. A proper hatch. Vault hatch, I think it's called. Working stiff shields, sealed shift. Sh 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 sure. Hey, rank 5 claw hammer, yeah, I'll take that. Absolutely. Nice. And I think this is also technically clean water. Is it? No, it's still murky. Okay, never mind. Ooh. I thought that was clean water. Like somehow the game knew. Yeah, that's quite nice. I'll repair that. Because that's got a lot more durability than the one that I've got. And the one that I've got, it does get pretty low pretty fast. Doesn't take very long. That brings us around. Let me check the roof, though. And never know. Make a couple frame blocks. Because I know better. Okay. This place is fucking massive, man. 
Like, you kind of got to camp out in these. <laughs> ah. Nice. Uh, yeah, there's a, uh, candy tin mine there. You see it. I still got to clear it, but it's not telling me that people are around anywhere. Just to maybe, maybe awaken them a little bit. Just a back door. And this is the front door proper. Okay. That side room. This was this. This is fine. That's just dead end ba uh, bathroom. One of the coolest janitor closets ever with a nice box. What in a lockpick though, that's less great. There you go, brass door knob. You see, there's there's brass around. Shit. Shit. Another lockpick. And we got nighttime. Helmet on. Oi. You just spawned there. I saw that. Thought I could beat him to it. <gasps> that was it! Oh yeah! That's quite good. I thought we'd be stuck here for the entire night looking for like the last asshole or two. Phenomenal. I'm going to... I guess skin the dog. Some of that stuff I don't really hugely need. I'm around back up the stairs out the front door to the bicycle. Let's track that other quest that I've got. I thought it was just like going right through. Tier 4 fetch. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't feel bad for that at all. Getting him through the door like that. Fuck him. He had it coming. <laughs> 